hi welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is apm graphics yes if you are new to this channel candle subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification so when i upload a video you can easily get it right away yes today i just want to redo different things on the retouching a picture in photoshop yes so today i just want to show you how to retouch a picture in photoshop i already have a tutorial on that and i want to do another one so that you can easily get it very clear yes so let's just go into our photoshop for that okay so that is what we have and we we'll just go in over and import in our picture so i want to use this picture over here okay so you can check image file to see the 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 the, 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 the mode of the picture and you can see that it's rgb and 8-bit channel okay it's okay so we can manage with that so right now what we have to do is just start working on that as we did the earlier uh, tutorials so let's just do what control g to duplicate the picture over there so control g control g okay to duplicate it too then this one you rename it color okay then the last one you rename it texture texture or you can make it textures but let's make it texture okay so this one i'll close it up i'll unactivate it then i'll select this one then i'll go to filter come to noise then i'll go to dusk and scratches yes it depends on what kind of image that you are working with so you can just check through to see where you can have more chicken paws or let's call it pimples on the face then you just uh, wipe it out so let me zoom out okay let me look in. so i can see the so it's supposed to be this way then you can see the chicken so what we need to do over here is to drag drag the radius until you can't see any chicken paws on the face or let's say just on the skin so i'll just drag my bone down there five i can't see anything like that but I can still see the eyes and those things. We see that. So this is four. I'll just make it five. Yes. Uh, as the other tutorial. So I'll click OK. Then what I have to do is that this one I'll just activate it like this. Then I'll go over to image. Then I'll come apply image then the source i'll leave it that way the layer i'll change it to color we get that and the the blinding mood i'll make it subtract and then the skill i'll leave it to and the offset i'll leave it one to eight and opacity hundred then i'll click ok just like that so you change the blinding mood to what the linear light over here yes then you can have something like this so the next thing you have to do is to group the two control G to group then you can rename it frequency just a frequency separation simple so the next thing you have to do is to polish the face you know brighten making it so this thing so just click on select this layer then you zoom it you zoom your picture out zoom it in okay zoom it okay so this way is okay for me so 
you do the next thing just when you select this one then you come and pick a tool over here laser tool you pick that one then you make the feather to be 20 it's okay for you then you start doing what you usually do so let's just come and select over here select over there select over there then this way you get that then you go to filter you come to play you come to garden blade then you move your mouse until you are okay with the texture that comes out or with the smoothness of that particular skin you get that yes so let's see let's make it 14 c so i see it's 14 it's okay so i click okay and normally i normally use 14 my tutorial but you can decide how you would like to do so the next thing i have to do is to come and pick up somewhere right here to like this like that then i'll come to blur gas and blur then i make that one to 40 you get that yes so the next thing i have to do is to come over here and select this way we get that so if you don't want to be doing uh, you don't want to be wasting time clicking play and those things what we need to do what should we do you click on it and you just get something over here alternate control f it will do or just click on it that's all that one too you get it up so the next thing i have to do is to click is to do the notes over here like that so i'll go over for the nose i have to change it to seven so that i'll have a narrow uh, i don't want the notes to be so narrow so i just have to make it somewhere seven yes so i'll click okay so we're just getting to the end of the tutorial and you can see that the picture is getting more beautiful so i just have to do this one too okay then i'll select gas and blur then i'll make the over there 30 it's okay for me because that place there's no more distance so let me just save my work click ok and save so the next thing i have to do is to work with uh, i can decide working with this so let me just make some distance to it Okay, this way then I'll change it okay so that over there to to it won't just look like uh, just from studio and okay yes so I love it that way okay over there there is shape that we don't have we don't need that this shape to close so what we need to do is come to the other way then you let it go maybe you make it seven so that that one will not be narrow as the the note yes so that is yes how that is not been done and sorry and what you need to do is to get that and that's all okay so we have finished with this the next thing we have to do is to remove the chicken pulse or let's say the pin pulse. So you come and select the texture layer, then you come and pick the clone, uh, the clone stamp tool over here. Then you click on where there is not the where you cannot find the the chicken pulse or let's say the pimple on the face. Then you hold shift, then click over here. We can't find anything. Then you just come and do what click on the chicken pulse over there like that like that so that all the chicken pulse the, the, the everything will take off from the face like that you get that so that is how you can remove chicken pulse 
without losing the person face or without having different issue okay so the next thing i have to do is come away with over here i'll hold shift and click over here and oh, sorry alternate then i'll start on moving down one two like that okay yes so this is how the thing we go by that okay it's a good tutorial and if you take your time you can be able to become pro in this even though it's more than years so let's remove something over here okay so this are the thing supposed to be okay so we are just going to the Taking off those uh, those uh, chicken pots on the lady's face. The lady so beautiful to have chicken pots on so, Yes. So we have just finished with that. Then we can save. So this is how the retouching has been done. So this is the end of the video. But what I have to do is that I just want to add some filter to it so that the picture will look beautiful. So I'll just come over and pick and, and come and click on the the gradients. I'll click this particular eye, then I'll come to gradient map. Then I'll change it to what? I'll change it to soft. I'll change it to soft uh, light. Then I'll click on this one. You get that? So let me move my this thing over here. So I'll just choose this one the the gradient type. I'll change it to noise. Then I'll change this one to zero. Then I'll click over here. We get that. So I'll start clicking on the random uh, random just to get different a uh, filter on that. So I'll click. I'll click. I'll click. So this is how you'll be clicking. You get that before you can get the best resource at the end of the day you get that yes so you can see that this one is beautiful and if you use it it's going to be very very beautiful yes so you can keep clicking to get different uh, distance on the face you get that you can keep clicking so let's keep clicking and see i don't want us to waste my time so I think we should use this one it's okay for me so we can use this one or this one this one okay this is two this one or this one so let's use this one okay so that is how the listing has been done the research has been done and it's so beautiful and when you look at the face it's very smooth and there is much texture on it yes if the filter is too much you can reduce it to 50 okay you can reduce it to 50 or let's say it's 70 70 is okay for me okay so this is how everything has been done then you can root or and understand so let's activate this so there is the actual picture then we transform it or we just add some filter then we have something like this so this and that we get that simple thank you very much for watching this is evening graphics have a nice day bye bye